Well, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to The Boring Gamer, this time with Trevor in first-person point of view in the Grand Sonora Desert, not too far from where he resides, his house or trailer, perhaps, we should say, in the Grand, uh, or uh, the Al next to the Alamo Sea, which is a parody of the Salton Sea in California but uh, anyway the last video ended abruptly uh, and then I was going to do a part two but I ended up not having recorded while I was uh, doing the video so so oh I'll turn the radio off Oh, fun fact, you can only listen to Blaine County Radio while you're in this part of the game geographically. It's only in, well, basically in Blaine, what is Blaine County. So it's a interesting tidbit I learned a little while ago. Oh, so first person point of view, when you go to reverse, since even the rear view mirror, the exterior rear view mirror, uh, is blurred out, they didn't render any. So when you go to see the look behind, it actually takes you out of the first person point of view. Another interesting little piece of information. Uh, so let's just take, ooh, and the speedometer is very visible in this car, or should I say truck, RV. and the rev counter which I think is that's technically the technical term is tachometer if I'm recalling correctly I don't know oh I lost the path I wasn't paying attention where the path was going is that where I just came from up there oh yeah okay oh yeah so I just I was off the not so beaten path uh, so let's uh, take this for a little spin actually a pretty narrow little road oh it looks like it comes to a close or like a dead end or at least on the map it looks like it ends right here so I guess we'll have to go off-roading a little bit see oh there's the speedometer almost still Oh, they're about 40 miles per hour, so not too bad. I think actually, oh yeah, so it's going to actually come onto the runway of the airstrip for which, uh, close to where Trevor lives anyway. Uh, I don't know if there's a, if this airstrip has a name, I guess not, but anyway, interesting. Oh, and if you're an aviation fanatic, normally the runways would be marked with the direction, like the giant 27 or so on, would be at the beginning or the end of the runway. Two, runway 27 would signify that it's pointing in the compass direction 270. So if you so t so the other so if if this was if I'm going in compass direction 27 then behind me you'd 270 minus 180 should be one set. 90 so the compass this would be runway 9 I guess I'd say actually or or they'd say 09 09 runway 09 hmm actually questioning myself but yeah 
Uh, so I guess we'll take the RV for a little spin. Oh, there's actually a helicopter there. Maybe that could be a more adventurous video down the road. Yeah. Oh, what would be runway 09? I'm not just double thinking in my head a little moment. But, or 09, I guess it. Uh, whoops. Uh, so with the last video, oh, I missed that guy. Last video I had Trevor get a car and drive it around. So maybe we could do that with Trevor or just drive the RV, I guess. I'm actually, I have no idea if Trevor were to just check that no train is coming. If Trevor were to buy a car from... Oh, the train passing. Oh, didn't notice it. If he were to buy a car, I guess his garage would be close to his house where it would be delivered to I'm not exactly sure well we could always go pop in and then maybe buy a some sort of off-road vehicle He's just two streets down from here. Maybe his business partner will be there hanging out. I forget his name. Oh, there's Trevor's actual truck. And just for curiosity, this is called the Zirconium Journey. Oh, van. Oh, so now we're on Sandy Shores, Zancudo Avenue. Again, appreciating the 2D work, 2D art work of the artists, I guess. And then the 3D art, I guess, would be like his trailer. Someone would have made that trailer and then the developers would have added the imp hit zones and whatnot to it. So, interest. Oh, and there's the business partner of Trevor, I forget his name, but looks like he's taking target practice. Uh, so let's browse the mobile device for a car and we'll see where it gets delivered. Again, we'll sort by price. I think this one, the Principe Faggio, first showed up in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I don't know if the make Principe was there, but I do remember the Faggio. Uh, well, this is definitely up Trevor's Alley, uh, but those are pretty common in the game. Uh, Oh, the rat truck. That's like an old Ford or an old Chevrolet. Maybe we could buy that and then I could take a quick glance online at what it's... Whoop. Oh, nowhere to store this vehicle. Okay, well, that answers that. So I guess you'd have to buy a garage of some nature. Oh, well, there's a... I can't even read that. Nag Nagasaki Hot 
Rod Blazer off-road. I don't think I've... Ooh, and that's just like a 4x4 four four uh, it's really quick. Those are off-road, pretty dangerous in real life. If you, Ozzy Osbourne had an accident where he flipped one and got pretty injured, but you could potentially get crushed by one of them and die. So pretty, they can't even. Oh, this one doesn't even have any instrument panels, so so you have to just assume you're going under the speed limit luckily in this this area which is the as a the salt and sea parody um, I was just double checking I don't know how to double check that it this is a recording but hopefully it is but uh, anyway there's not a huge police presence so maybe we could drive like right go in out of first person point of view for a bit this goes down to a little peninsula we could check take a look at that oh looks like Oh, what time is it? 7.12 Let's see if we could drive this on the rocks Oof, I think you need that BF injection to if you wanted to actually drive over the... Oh, okay, you, you made it on, surprisingly Oh, it's a good example of where the... I'm not sure that... Oh, I think he's stuck the axles being able to be move independently and I think he's stuck oh no water oh there's a little boat over there this is actually quite a serene setting there's a oh that got deep pretty quick and then back onto the rocks a little bit. There's a rock right here that the waves are like he's standing above the water and then he's basically almost hip waist deep. But uh there's a term in Danish I think called Higa or Hayuga. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation but where in winter like having a kind of zen-like moment. I don't think there's a exact translation in English, but this is kind of a pretty serene little setting. You can go and uh, tread water a little bit or see if we can get on the boat and borrow the boat. I'm not sure whose boat this is, but could sit down and have a little make sure the radio's not on oh okay but yeah that's a pretty scenic setting watching the sun go down so maybe we'll a few videos ago I think the video after I got up uh, Mount Chiliad which is I think it's that one yeah I Franklin took a little boat ride so maybe we could do the same with Trevor and then perhaps could return the boat back to that peninsula. I'm sure the owner wouldn't mind if we go for a little spin. It's getting late, so they're probably getting ready for bed anyway. But we can watch the sunset in real time. 8.30, 20.30 in military time on a Tuesday. see what first person point of view looks like pretty I think that boat actually is that a little sitting area up front like some of those speed boats you can sit in the back but they also have like a on the the bow 
the bow I should say rather looks like a little sitting area but I don't think it would work to sit there in the game but pretty scenic maybe you Ooh. I didn't mean to disembark so violently but maybe we could go for a little dive underwater and see I guess if this were actually in first person point of view since he's in the water they just pop the screen the telephone device on the screen he's not actually holding it as otherwise unless he has a good water resistant phone at least IP67 then or 67 even though the 6 and the 7 are different separate ideally you'd want IP68 resistant phone to take it in but the 67 you can have it underwater for up until something like 10 feet for 10 minutes uh, uh, I forget how to dive underwater maybe it's not deep enough here actually I think it's I thought it was R1 I guess it's not actually deep enough I guess we'll jump back on the boat then. Ooh. You can go a little bit farther along. I think the map, the darker it is on the water, as you can see in the map in the bottom left, I think that's a depth indication. I was in the darker spot, so I thought it would have been be able to dive underwater try maybe right here maybe if he oh there he we underwater oh yeah okay actually hard to see them. oh okay I thought maybe they'd even though it's night time I thought maybe they'd allu illuminate it a little bit better ooh it's actually a little ooh it's actually out of out of air for a moment there. That tree, I was gonna say, I thought they'd illuminate the underwater get a little bit more. Oh, camera's actually, looks like, oh, it was like actually blurry. Cause I think they added, cause as if the water was blue, water on the camera lens, even though in this case it would be in his eyes, but that was a neat little feature of the of GTA. Maybe I should do a video, I remember, watching on YouTube someone who did a video of all the tiny small things you could notice in GK5 so that would be something I'll try it again see if you can oh doesn't seem to want to dive circle hmm we get too shallow over here or or does little string oh where's that light coming from oh just cockpit light or whatever you call the I'll see if I can go where I dove in the water probably somewhere around over here maybe I can oh there we go we're at the I think I'm underwater now hard to oh yeah so yeah, I thought they'd illuminate. Actually, a little weird. I'm gonna try going out of first person point of view for a moment. Oh, there, it's easier to dive in first person point of view, or third person rather. Reminds me of, oh, so once you're at the bottom, you can see a little bit. They give a little bit of illumination, even though in real life, if you were diving at this level, it would be complete darkness. I don't oh 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 he's almost out of air hope I'll get to the surface uh oh oh no I couldn't get to the surface before he totally ran out of air oh dear oh well I guess it would have 
we'll just have to assume he went back and returned the boat or the owner would have the sea isn't too big so he could have just found it himself uh well i guess we'll have to call the taxi Maybe this is a good time to end Believe for the moment. Not, I need a cab. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. I'll be here. I'll put a point on the mark. Oh, he's actually just around the corner. Speaking of, just around the corner from his place. So we'll see how much that taxi cab costs and then end this video as I'm not sure. It seems like it's been, I lose track of time while I'm doing these videos, but it seems like it's been a good 20 minutes easily uh, the other video that cut off I hit 30 minutes like I'm not sure exactly why the PS4 cuts videos off at half an hour so where do you go? some sort of technical right away, limit or something but so hence why the last video was going to be two parts but then I wasn't properly recording the second part anyway uh, so 250 initial charge so it should probably be like three dollar oops i didn't mean to I mean to turn the radio off i don't want to get the, even though i won't monetize the video anyway because i don't have enough viewers but don't want to get the copyright strike anyway hey we're here oh two dollars well that was actually a discount because that was two dollar fifty initial charge so that so maybe the fares are accurate when you take a taxi. I don't think there's any mission here. Oh, there's the business associate. I forget his name again, or I can't like see if we can go in the trailer and oh, there's a health, but I have full health right now. Benedict. Is that another brand of the fake beer in the game? Yeah, it would seem so. Light beer. Part two of the last video, I pointed out a, another fake beer brand, uh, which was on a truck that was driving. Uh, and that's different from the shirt he's actually wearing, which is Douche or Douche. And then the one right to his to his right side, or our left, is the Pisswasser which is kind of, well, GTA style sense of humor, but uh, let's see if he'll drink a beer and we'll call this video a night. Call it a day, whatever you want to call. It's good to enjoy a cold one every now and then. If you're of legal drinking age, of course. So thanks for watching. I hope this was recording properly. And uh, so if you have any requests for the next video or series ideas or games I should pick up, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the last video, but I have a idea for a game that I want to borrow from the library and do a little series on, but and maybe I should pick up the farming simulator again, Real Farm. Uh, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Go to... Oh, it won't let me go to first person point of view while at this moment. Oh, did I f break the game? Oh, he's still technically drinking. I have to stop. Hit try and go to stop drinking. There we go. There's first person. So, thanks for watching and uh, comment below, subscribe, hit the bell icon. You know the drill. Thanks very much. Talk to you in the next one.